So we got the oil feeding the turbocharger from the top. We already plumbed that in. Now the oil is going to, gravity is going to come out of the turbocharger into the drain hose and then lead back into the oil pan. It makes it maintenance free. You don't have to change the turbocharger oil, nothing. So at this point, we're going to remove the oil pan to install this fitting. It's a in fitting so that we can attach our turbocharger drain hose to it. Okay, simple. So the oil pan on this vehicle is excellent. It's very, very simple. It's just these 10 millimeter bolts all around the outside. You gently pry it down and uh, we'll show you where we're going to drill the hole. When we're drilling the hole though, we're going to make sure we don't drill it here because it's in front of the bolt. Don't drill it here, it's in front of the bolt. So you want to make it a nice spot for it between the bolts so that when it's finally installed, it'll be down the middle like so. Let's do it. Okay, so we just said, hey, let's take these bolts out around here in the last video. And I was like, well, as I went through it, I said, maybe there's some tips I can, I can show here. So I'm going to do that. So you, you get them all, you take all the bolts out, you leave the two nuts, okay? You loosen them so they're down further on the stud, all right? And then you'll see that the pan is still glued with the silicone attached to the block. And it's, it's hard to get off. It's, it's, it's difficult. So the tool I use, and I think you'll have good success with, is just, just a scraper. Okay? So you're going to put the scraper in there between the two, right? And then you're going to use your hammer. You're going to get it in there, and then you turn it, and you cut along like this, and it cuts the sealant. And you take it back out, you know, and you do it again. That way, you're not deforming the pan, you're not gouging anything and just work your way around until you got it pretty close, right? And then, when it finally is popping down, when it's finally popping down, it's gonna be sitting on those studs, okay? When you finally got it popped down. So then, then take the, the nuts off. And I've already taken this down, so you will have to like, It'll, it'll kind of pull off of there. And then you'll have all that silicone. And then, and I'm gonna show you, you'll have all this residue. And I'm gonna show you how you get that off. Like, it seems like a bigger task than it is. I'll show you the best tool. It goes by real fast. Okay, so you got your pan down, right? But you have all the silicone stuck in the little valley all the way across, it's oozed out. It's got a mess going. If you were to pick it or scratch a razor blade, I mean, it's very difficult to get off. Let me show you an easy tool. It's a regular bench grinder. I mean, it's a cheap bench grinder. Any shop's got one of these. Just turn it on, wear your safety glasses, and then you'll see as I go around how easily. I mean, literally in 10 seconds, I did 20% of it. To continue around and get it off. Have a nice clean surface. All right, so on the wire wheel, minutes. What do you say, Dan? Six, seven minutes, something like that? Nice Just run right around it, make light work of it with the right tool. Now, you're gonna have the residue stuck all, the same type residue all on the oil pan surface, the upper pan surface. So how do I get that off? Simple. We use a, just a regular scraping razor blade, and I use the pull, pulling motion like this, and this is all I did. Just kept pulling at it like this, a couple, couple minutes of that, wipe the surfaces, and we're going to apply silicone here after we drill our hole in the next step. But sometimes people are like, oh, that's, that's, that's a lot, that's, that's too much, or, or I'm confused about that. I'll make more of it than it is. It's glued to the top, take the bolts out, clean the surfaces, drill a hole and put it back. Simple as that. Okay, so we got our oil pan, nice and clean. Remember we talked about we want to put this fitting in here, all right? So we're going to drill a 7 8 inch hole. That's the diameter we need to get this to fit in here correctly. But we want it to be between the two bolts so we can access those nice and easy. There's actually little marks in the pans where they're at. Center it between the two, find out where you want it nice. Hit your little center punch so you're ready to go. Drill a pilot hole, we use a unit bit, get it down to 7 eighths, and uh, then we'll attach it. 
All right, so we marked our hole, we drilled it, we used the unit bit. Okay, these are nice because at each step they kind of finish off the filing of the hole. But you still want to go back in there, make sure there's no burrs sticking out that would, you know, impede a good seal. So other than that, we got the fitting, male side out with the uh, gasket. I'm going to put it here. And then what we're going to do on this side is we're going to take the silicone sealant, we're going to go around the outside, and we're going to go gasket, right? And we're going to put a little bit more seal in here, and then the nut. All right? Then we'll hold them, tighten it, and go back and clean it. Let's do it. Okay, so we put small amount of silicone on the pan, then we put the gasket. It's really the washer, I think. And then we put a little bit more on the outside. Just a small amount. And you're going to see when you squeeze this together, so much of it's going to come out that um, we'll have to wipe a lot of it off. They just get in there with your rag, you know, and just get the excess off. Okay, we'll tighten it up, we'll wipe it again. All right, we got our oil pan fitting attached. The silicone excess is cleaned up, wiped up real good. Use some silicone, good oil resistant silicone here. And you're gonna put it on. It doesn't take a ton on the inside, okay? Not all the way around, just on the inside. Okay, and when you put the right amount of sealant and you put it up there, it'll push to the edge, small amount, that's it. If you put too much, go all the way around every circle. Remember, the oil is coming from the inside out. It ain't coming out the bolt holes, it's coming from the inside out. Seal it here, it'll push over there, it'll squeeze out. It should be even with the pan when it comes around. It'll look like a professional did a job. It's not a job for orange or blue or some garbage sealant. Get a good oil pan sealant and do the job right. Okay. Our surface is good and clean. We already wiped it down. Made sure it's perfectly dry. We're ready to go. So we'll get our oil pan up there without shifting it all around. Let's find the holes, the studs. Get it up there. And just run, run those nuts down with your finger and to hold it up in place. Okay? I'm gonna go around the oil pan. You wanna start all these bolts by hand. Then you can go back and tighten them. Get them all started first though. 